Hi everyone, Paolo here. So welcome back to just another dang how to channel where I show how to videos from subjects like web, software, uh, Swift, and Salesforce development. And recently just picked up and started learning game development, particularly uh, Unreal Engine. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So on this video, we're going to cover my first week experience of learning Unreal Engine running on Apple Silicon M1 Pro base model. And if the machine is capable uh, for this task. Uh, last week, I installed the Unreal Engine uh, for the very first time. And surprisingly enough, it got installed and started working from the get go. Even though it's not native and running on the Rosetta uh, emulator, um, it got installed and works well. So, uh, some viewers of that uh, video uh, weren't so lucky. So, for example, Alexandro uh, said on the base model that he was working on, when it's which compiling shaders, the Unreal sign vanishes and nothing happens. Uh, left it for 30 minutes and nothing. Also tried some other workaround like download Xcode from the App Store. Um, yeah. So if you have tips on how to get this fix on how you got it to work on your machine, uh, please let me know. Um, the Epic Launcher. So from Epic Launcher, uh, it seems like there's an update available now. So I haven't tried that update yet. Um, but the first person uh, project works well. Uh, I tried several, the first person, the third person, top down. So here the first person, um, all the feature works. There's a bit of lag. Uh, I'll talk about FPS for it, but so far it works. Um, content browser, so exit this. Uh, content browser, everything here works. Um, if I show the FPS of this one, it's running around 40 plus FPS. So let's exit this and open the other project. So the other project that I tried was also third person. Cool. So let's show the FPS as well. So this is running at 50, I play it, slides down to 40. So this is also working well. As you can see, uh, controls, response, uh, there's some drop frames. Um, I believe that's from the uh, very low FPS. So there's a trick that I found uh, that talks about uh, adjusting the anti-aliasing to increase the frame rate. So let's see if that helps. So under edit, go to project settings and under engine, go to rendering. Under rendering, go down, scroll down at the bottom. Uh, under default settings, under default settings, under anti-aliasing method, uh, currently it's set to none. So I set it to none. Normally that would be set on temporal super resolution. So if I put that on the default one, it would drop very drastically to around 24 to 30 frames. Uh, that's the reason I had that um, rendering uh, enabled. Uh, disabled uh, set to none so let's turn that back to none you could also put it a fast approximate anti-aliasing i don't know all the configurations of this yet i'll uh, learn more but that gives me a better frame rate than the uh, super temporal uh, resolution cool so the other project that i tried um, is the um, I want to show you the top down. So top down also works well. So let's go to game mode. You can see that. So that's working well. And let's show the FPS as well. 
So this is without that uh, project setting. So let's update this project. Go to rendering under default. Oops. Default setting, you would see the default is temporal super resolution for anti-aliasing. I'll put that to none. And you see the frame rate increase a little bit. So now up to 40. Cool. So this is working well. Show is Lumen. So some of the main major features of Unreal Engine 5 is Lumen. So for those of you that are new to this like me, Lumen is a dynamic global illumination and reflection solution. I understand this is that light casted on an object can bounce off its color to its surrounding. So let me show you that. So out of the box, Lumen is on by default. So if I go to my content drawer, open light bounce. And you can see this project, um, you would see the light source is coming from this direction and there's a green wall and a red wall and you would see the floor, there's a little bit of shadow on that color. So it's not perfect but uh, it's working, um, Lumen is working. So for the other features. But I tried, I've been following some tutorials that had me create um, materials. So if I go to materials here, uh, here are my stuffs, materials. This is working well, so I could create some materials, some textures and all of that. Um, I could also create new, uh, let me save that, uh, new levels. Oops, I need to close this material and open this. So you can see here on this particular tutorial that I was following, I was creating some landscape and I was moving around the sculpting the, so if I go to landscape, I was sculpting the floor here. So you could increase that or hit shift and then you could make a decrease uh, on that landscape. So this is working well. Um, let's shift back to select. Let me see FPS. Yep, it's running well. Uh, 50 FPS. Um, another that I work on was the lighting. Yep, uh, that is also working well. Cool. So that is that. Let me exit this and I want to show you some of the starter uh, sample projects. So the Lira starter game. Uh, it's working it has an odd look to it I'm not sure I haven't spent enough time uh, to look into how the project was put together but the application works uh, with little quirks uh, because it looks like it's more advanced So this is the start, if I go to game mode, uh, this is how it looks like. Uh, I'm not sure if this is by design as well, so if I go here and I'll probably say not now here. something wrong with the mouse I can't control the character can't rotate the screen so yeah so it's a little bit of hit and miss on this uh, and then it crashed so I'm gonna send and close the other project that kind of works is also one of the advanced one is the meta humans so this one's a big project as well, kind of complex. Uh, if you first time you load it, uh, for it to render 
uh, the UI properly you have to wait for the around 7800 uh, shaders to load I go play you would see uh, probably not now the hair of the character doesn't load I am a meta human the next generation of digital human powered by unreal engine meta humans are so that works uh, without the hair though so and some of the other projects here don't work like the cd sample if you try to create it you'll get an error uh, let's try to create it yep getting this download request failed and some of the other bigger projects are the same quixel bridge i have it got it to work i'm not sure what i'm doing so i'll, I'll spend more time figuring that out so there you go so that's my first week of trying to learn uh, Unreal Engine. So I think the base model is sufficient enough to learn the software, but for developing uh, games, a more advanced game, I'm not too sure. I have to spend a little more, more time on what kind of game I could build on this. I don't think I could build those advanced 3D games. Uh, maybe a 2D game or a top down game would be enough. So if you like, this video or want me to cover something in particular leave a comment in the section below uh, cheers bye for now